this is going to be an NDI breakdown, and, and so that's sort of the, we got through all the, the facts and general 101 information. Here's what we're trying to do with NDI. Be auto self-discovering, span networks, and find sources by name. When you're using an NDI ecosystem, an NDI product, you don't memorize IP addresses. What, you, what are you looking for? You're looking for a PTZ camera? When you go to your TriCaster and you select the source, it will say Newtek PTZ or Panasonic PTZ or Lumens PTZ or Marshall PTZ. Eventually, it'll say Sony PTZ. You're just looking for the name of the product. I don't have to worry what are these IP addresses and what port and all that stuff. We take care of that in NDI. We're also completely interoperable between NDI generations. We're talking about NDI 3.8 today, 4.0 in the future. We've gone through four generations of NDI in those four years. So if you have an original NDI device and you've never updated, it will still work with your TriCaster today because we will always interoperate. The other thing we really do is uh, we do conversions from all kinds of standards. You can intermix PAL and NTSC signals. You can intermix other IP sources. We do a lot of that in NDI. If it is a standard and source today, an IP standard, we support it in NDI. We'll either convert from their standard into NDI or from NDI into their standard. Uh, obviously, we support the bevy of traditional broadcast formats, and 60Ps and 50, uh, 60s and 30s at 2997 and 5994. Uh, but we're, we're always in our operation and, and, and useful. We want it to always work on a one gigabit network infrastructure. And the biggest reason there is that will keep your costs fairly minuscule. You don't have to get new switches, and probably you don't have to get new cabling. You could probably integrate NDI in all your facilities today. Now, as we start to look at the future, things like 4K, 8K, 16K, obviously we'll need to make some upgrades, but they won't be so severe because we designed this to be usable today. Uh, obviously, as we get to higher volume resources as well, maybe you need to upgrade. We have facilities today that have over 650 live NDI sources recording. They have a slightly more robust network than what you could get at Best Buy. NDI's goal is to be flexible. We always consistently add new features and functionality as we, iterate, uh, as we iterate on NDI. The big piece of that is NDI is developed as software. It is developed to be accommodating, flexible, and fluid. This is the way we've been able to continually stay ahead of the game the last four years. We initially started as a TCP client. We, we graduated to a UDP client. In the very near future, we'll be an MTCP client. We continue to work and, and look at what your feedback is and say, how can we make NDI better for you? And the kicker of all that is, it's a free upgrade. Download the latest firmware for your system, and you're now working in a better NDI environment than you were. Obviously, a large amount of third parties are already using NDI because of its practicality. This is a standard by adoption. This is a standard because you guys want it to be one. We didn't set out and go to any boards or work with anybody. We said we want this to be out there, be in your hands, and you guys tell us what's wrong. You guys tell us how it needs to be better, and we continue to meet those demands today. 